How to draw a washing machine, real easy. To draw a washing machine, it's basically a box. Um, so draw a box like that. And there's usually a little bit of a kind of a cutaway there underneath. And we're going to want a little bit of a control panel on the top. And then we're going to want a circle. So it's going to be more of an ellipse, isn't it, rather than a circle for your kind of front loading bit here and a handle on the other side. So I am going to draw in this control panel first. And we'll put some little dials and switches and oh, that's the bit where you put your stuff in, isn't it? You pull the drawer out. Uh, but anyway, let's have some more dials and switches and things like that. Then this is the tricky part. So we're going to want to have kind of a hinge section there. And then that will have a thickness to it on that side, which will go around there. And then you've got that kind of window plastic bit inside there. And usually a handle to open the door on that side. This can then come down to here. That will come down to there. And we'll bring that across. Oh, I smudged it on the bottom there. That will then go across to there. And you usually have a little draining section there. That will go back. This will come down here. That will come there. And then you're going to have a bit along the edge like that. Now I'm going to put some shading thing in there like that. When you're sure that the ink is dry, then erase the pencil lines. Sorry about that smudge. And I'm going to put a little bit of hatching there and there. And I'm going to put a little bit of kind of hatching there as well to give it a bit of sort of three dimensionalness. And I'm going to have the light kind of coming this way. So I think we'll have a little bit of shadow underneath there to bring it forward. We're going to want some shadow underneath there. And then we're going to want to have some shadow there to kind of put it on the table. We don't want it on the table. We want it on the floor. Um, so we'll have some shadow coming here, which luckily covers that smudgy bit like that. And we we'll probably have a little bit of shadow underneath there as well. There you go. How to draw a washing machine. Real easy. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, click the pencil and subscribe for more real easy drawing videos. And uh, why not go draw a potato while you're waiting for your washing? Uh, or just try the mystery drawing. Uh, check out my ebook. Everyone can draw and learn how to draw. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.